that we did as a Muslim. Each and every day, go to the Zambos in Ghana. It will come to a time where Muslims will dominate Ghana itself. Why? We have a two, three, four wives. Right now, when I have money, the next thing I'm keeping is my life. Sunnah, Sunnah, very caramel. So we have a lot of kids. And we are also moving. Each family or grandfather go back to where your great great grandfathers built their houses. You may see it was inherited by many, many families. And each family has also family. And most of us will run away to move out to abroad. When we come back, we are not going back to the family house. Even those who are residing here, who get a little bit, they want to build their houses somewhere. So that means we are also building family. As I'm standing here, I'm a young, I have three kids. Three kids. So, in about next year, or let's say two, three, four years, I may have another one. I may keep on adding kids, 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 inshallah. And all of you here also may one day get married. And especially our sisters, they also get married. We are having more kids, more family. So without we, the Muslims of Ghana, now, purchasing lands, all those lands will be what? Purchased by non-Muslims. And we don't have any other ways, whenever we move to any estate in Ghana, than to take our wars to work. To the non-Muslim schools, we don't have any other way. All the, all the Muslim schools, most of them reside inside where? Zongo community. If I move to Barikasi, or I move to, let's say, um, Adampari, or I move to, let's say, Ejisu, or I move to, let's say, uh, Antwa, I want my kids to come back to the Zongo community, which is sometimes too far to go to the Makarantari. Maybe I, mean, I don't have a car, I don't have a motorcycle. What should I do? I have to leave my words to the world, to any schools closer to. So those areas that we start building our houses, we have to also start purchasing land for us. So as a Jinsa, as I said earlier, the Jinsa need to start contributing money. My Sheikh said, oh, Jinsa do not need to start contributing money. I understand where Sheikh is coming from. Sheikh is coming from the co-founders. Who started the what about the Jinsa? So Sheikh is talking in a way where the co-founders now need to put money together to purchase money for Jinsa. That is what I think. So we are not going to wait for them. We will also start with 11C. Operation, this is Operation 11C National Jinsa. Yeah, this is Operation Mormon City. If this fails, all your secretary accountable to that. Because this is something that I think, even if we don't want to purchase a land with it, contribute each month, apart from your worry about the contribution you these people are making each month, this is Operation Mormon City National Agency. Each region need each month to contribute one one city from their work from the acquired equality from their people. So this operation one one city for Jinsa, today we were able to raise 270, 50 cities. We will even give out the 50. We say one city, how do you get 50 persons? Hey, the 50 persons. So and I think like uh, looking at the crowd here, I can see we are more than 270. So that means a lot of people did not pay. Where are those who did not pay? Raise your hand, please, for the sake of Allah. This is not a shame. We are all Muslims. This is not a shame. I didn't pay. So we, I, I just want to say something. Where are those who did not pay? You know, our sisters will shy. And they are... Yeah, let me see your hands. You know, who don't do sadaqat more than men? Do you know that? Do you know that? Right? Oh, you didn't pay. Now you see? And here I got you now. So where are those who did not pay? Please, if you have it, try your best to pay. If each month we will be able to raise this amount, 
calculate about one year, Jinsa, how much money are we going to get? This I this buy a land, one land, they say this land in Damani or this land in Accra. This land belongs to war. Jinsa. That thing alone is okay. Just leave the land like that. We try. The reason why I'm saying it this is we always try. We are always trying to avoid certain things which our forefathers did. Like what uh, Honorable Mutaka Mubarak just said. We say, Fi Sabi Allah, and it is somebody's name on the land. Wallahi, the Summa Allah, he goes around me, the Imam's prayers from Shaq Yusuf Sa'id, Yahya Shaq Lutfi. All the Imam, National Chief Imam, Imam of Ali Sunnah, all the lawyers, all the people who knows about peace power. Documentation, I try my best to stay out.